There are three types of variables in Commodore Basic. Strings, integers, and basically numbers. So strings hold text. Integers hold numbers without decimal places. Numbers hold any number. It can have decimal places, be negatives, anything. So how you define a string is you say the name, such as name dollar sign, and that's a string. Um, how you get a an integer, you say the name of the variable and you put a percent sign. Percent sign means it's an integer, it has no decimals. Now if you put nothing, no dollar sign, no percent sign, you just get a normal number that will hold decimals and that will hold um, any number. And these basically hold every single number. Um, and there are also three ways I'm going to show you how give a how to give a variable a value. First one, this one works for all of them. We just say the variable name, so let's say name dollar sign, we put an equal sign. Get an equal sign. If you're using the emulator, you try pushing the backslash above the enter key and below the backspace. That should give you an equal sign. Then name dollar sign equals quote Bob. And I set name to Bob. Now if I print name dollar sign, I get Bob. This works for all of them, such as num percent sign equals 3.5. Print num percent sign. So it'll give me 3. This is because I said integers, which means the variables with um, the percent sign, these will not hold decimals. So if you try to give it a decimal, it's just going to print a number without a decimal. It's just going to give it that value. But if I say num without anything, 3.5, print num, it's going to give me 3.5. Because if you don't specify it as an integer, it will hold the decimal place. So that's one way to, to assign, that's all three variables, and the first way to assign them value, just do it through code. Now there's another way, user input. This way you use for strings. So if I say in my code, line zero, I say um, name dollar sign because it's string equals Bob. And then I say line 10, I say um, print hello comma space plus name dollar sign plus an exclamation mark and when I type in run it's going to say hello Bob it says hello Bob basically because in my code I set name equal to Bob and I added hello plus name plus exclamation mark and all together that's hello Bob exclamation mark um, but let's say we want the user to type in their name so what we do we say zero print what is your name and for line 10 we're going to use a command called input. This, whatever variable specific, will, input will pause until the user types something in. And it will send whatever the user types in into the value of this specified variable, such as name dollar sign. And then 20, print the same line of code as the one we just did. Print hello plus name dollar sign plus an exclamation mark. I wrote print twice, didn't I? Hello, comma, plus name dollar sign, plus an exclamation mark. Do I see any errors with this? Nope, seems good. Now, and now you type in run, it'll say, what is your name, and let me type in something. If I say Joe, so I'll say, hello, Joe. If I run and type in Bob, hello, Bob. Ryan type in Jack and so say hello Jack. Um, so basically input lets you type in something and the variable becomes that. And now there's one more I'm going to show you and this is how to set a number to random. If we say print 5, it's just going to print 5. But if we, what if we want to print a random number? We say print R and D, we're going to put 1 inside of it. Don't worry about this, just do it. Just put a 1. You can experiment like if you put 4 inside of it or print R&D 50 um, you, um, but basically for random numbers we usually just put a 1 um, and as you can see it's always going to print us a n number that's between 0 and 1 a random number between 0 and 1 and 
you, you say, okay, I'm printing a random number between 0 and 1. How is that helpful? What if I want a random number between 1 and 3? Well, there's a random, no a simple random number equation. Um, this is how to get a random number between 1 and any number you want. And for example, print R and D 1, multiply it by our high number. Let's say multiplication symbol. The multiplication symbol is probably going to be the s closed square bracket right above your enter key if you're using the emulator. So R and D 1 times 100 plus 1. And as you can see, that gives us a random number between um, 1 and 100, in this case 58. If we, and let's put that in code, R and D 1 times 100 plus 1, and now end. Now every time we type in run, it's going to give us, whoops, I got a list. See how list in my code line 10 is still input name line 20 we can remove those lines by typing 20 and 10 and putting nothing now when we list our code we just have that one line so now run every time we type run gives us a random number between 1 and 100 the problem is there's a decimal place we usually we don't want a decimal place so we use this function called int remember how i said integers can't hold decimals the int function makes things where they can't hold decimals, basically. So if we say list, there's line 0. If we say 0 print and int, the int function r and d 1 times 100 plus 1. And now, and now every time we type in run, we're going to give it a random number between the 1 and 100, and it's not going to have a decimal. Now, you in code you can say num equals int um, r and d one times a hundred plus one and ten print num and now every time we do that it's going to set num equal to a random number one through a hundred and it's going to write it on the screen but list Remember how I said if you put a percent sign, it's a number that can't hold decimals? So if you set num percent equals, we don't have to use the int function. So you can just say r and d 1 times 100 plus 1. And then for line 10, print num percent sign. Now every time I run it, I'm going to still get a random number 1 through 100. Well, let's say you don't want a random number 1 through 100. You can just write num percent sign equals r and d times your max for the um for that one game the the rock paper scissors game i made i use r and d times three plus one and i use times three plus one because that will give me a random number between th one and three and then ten print num percent sign and now, and now every time I type in run, I get a random number between 1 and 3. So that's a basic tutorial how to get, how to, all your variable types and ways to get, um, define your variables. Um, the next tutorial I'll probably be doing if statements.